perspective is the illusion of dimensional space or depth of field on a flat 2D surface. And artists use a number of techniques to make a flat piece of paper like this one have dimension to it or make it look like it has depth. And I'm going to teach you those today using some simple boxes. We're going to start with one point boxes. So you'll need a ruler, sheet of paper, eraser, and a pencil. And every perspective construction, regardless if we're starting with one point, two point, or three point perspective, starts with the same two things. It always starts with a horizon line. A horizon line represents our eye level as the viewer and the artist. So it's as if you were to hold out a straight line straight from your eyes, wherever you're standing or sitting, and you draw a horizontal line straight out from that. That's your eye level. What is above your eye level, you'll see the bottoms of, like the, the roof and the lights, and anything that's below your eye level, you'll see the top of, like the desks or the chairs. So we're gonna start by putting in our horizon line. And that's a horizontal straight line, again, that represents our eye level. I'm gonna put mine somewhere near the center of my paper. It doesn't have to be perfect. And I'm just drawing a straight horizontal line straight across the middle of that piece of paper. So that's my horizon line. I'm gonna label that as HL, or horizon line. So that's the first thing every perspective construction needs. The second thing every perspective construction needs is a vanishing point. Vanishing points are the point on the horizon line where all of our contour lines converge to. It's different depending on what type of perspective you're doing. If you're doing one point perspective, you need one point. If you're doing two point perspective, you need two points. If you're doing three point perspective, you're doing three points, and then so on and so on and so on. Um, so we're gonna put one dot. That's our vanishing point, kind of right in the middle of our page on our horizon line. I'm gonna label that as VP, or vanishing point. And now I'm gonna start to do some boxes. I'm gonna start with a box at the bottom of my paper, kind of on the right hand side here. And it's going to be a um, box of whatever size I want it to be. And it's gonna see the top, we're gonna see the top of it since we're looking, um, since it's below the horizon line. So I'm gonna start with straight horizontals and straight verticals. In one point perspective, our horizontals stay straight across, so parallel to the picture plane, parallel to the picture plane. And our verticals stay straight up and down. So two horizontal lines, and I'm gonna connect with my ruler with two verticals, again, that are parallel, or as close as I can be, to the edges of my paper. So I start with that big square. Now I want it to look like it's going back in space. So the edges here, the corners, are gonna converge back to my vanishing point. So I'm gonna start with this top left corner. I'm gonna line that up with my ruler with my vanishing point in the center of my page. So corner of the square lines up with the vanishing point in the center, and I'm gonna draw line back. I'm not going to go the whole distance. I'm just going to go slightly back towards that vanishing point. I'm going to do the same thing now for the top right corner. So I'm going to line that edge or that corner of my square up with a vanishing point and I'm going to draw back. Just like that. I'm not going to do the bottom, uh, bottom right because I'm pretending that this is a solid um, square. So you're not gonna see that uh, going back in space, but I am gonna do the bottom left. So that's gonna line up with my vanishing point in the center. And I'm gonna draw my line back. So I've got these lines now converging back towards my vanishing point, and that's creating this illusion that although this is a flat piece of paper, that it has dimension and it goes back in space. So to finish these sides out, all I have to do is, again, mirror the sides of the front of that square I made. So since I made them with straight verticals and straight horizontals, I'm gonna do the same thing on the side. So this left side of my box, anywhere along there, since I'm the artist, I can choose where I want it to go, how big I want my box to be. 
So I'm going to line those up and I'm going to draw a straight vertical that connects those two. And then where that vertical met my converging line back to my vanishing point, I'm going to do a horizontal straight across there that's um, parallel to my horizon line. So just like that. So now I have a box going back. I'm going to shade this side really fast. Going back in virtual space. This is not real. It's a flat piece of paper. It's not actually going back, but we're giving it the illusion that it's going back in space. I'm going to do another one on the top of my vanishing, or so top of my piece of paper, so above my horizon line. So since this one was below my horizon line, I can see the top of this box. Since I'm going to draw one now above my horizon line, I'll be able to see the bottom of the box that I'm drawing. I'm going to start again with straight horizontals and straight verticals. So horizontal straight across. I'm going to give myself some space up here. I'm trying to keep it as parallel to my picture plane or parallel to my horizon line as I can. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. We're just um, learning basic perspective construction. So now I'm going to connect those with verticals. Again, that try to stay parallel to my sides of my paper or my picture plane. Do that on each side just like so. So I have this big square kind of hanging out in space up there. So now I'm going to start to take these corners of my um, box that I just made and I'm going to converge them again to my vanishing point. All of my lines in one point perspective on the sides of objects that are going back in space have to converge to that vanishing point to make it look realistic. So I'm going to take that bottom right corner first I'm going to line that up with my vanishing point in the center, and I'm going to draw a line back towards it. Again, I don't have to go the whole way. I'm the artist, I get to decide how far that line is going to be. Now I'm going to take the bottom left corner, line that up with my ruler with the vanishing point in the center, and I'm going to draw straight back again. Do the same thing for the top now. So the top right corner lines up with my vanishing point in the center. And I'm going to draw back. So I've got these lines again converging back towards my vanishing point in this um, 3D space that I'm creating here. So just like I did for this box, I'm going to end the sides anywhere I want to since I'm an artist using straight verticals and straight horizontals that mirror the sides of that box that I first made. So anywhere along that space, I can have it be really long and skinny. I can have it be short if I want to. We'll go really long and skinny. I'm going to do a vertical that's parallel to the side of that box I first made. And then where it meets the bottom converging line, I'm going to draw a horizontal straight across, again, parallel to my horizon line. And then I can erase out those extra bits of line to have it end a little bit nicer. And I'll shade it again. So that's how you create boxes in perspective in one point perspective that are going back in space. So what I'd like you to do is make at least three boxes up top, different sizes, and three boxes below our horizon. So three above the horizon line, three below the horizon line. And that's basic one point perspective construction of boxes.